Sally Cashua, owner of Tim Buck Toys, a leading toy retailer with three stores in the Denver metro area. Welcome to the Business Brief. Nice to be here. Thank you very much. Now, Sally, you're joining us from your University Hills location, but you just recently opened up your new Aspen Grove location in Littleton. Can you give us a little background on how Tim Buck, Toy, Tim Buck Toys got started? Tim Buck Toys came about, frankly, because I was studying urban planning and I wanted to do something to improve my community. And I started out with a tiny little store in Park Hill. And then I came down to University Hills, close to where I am right now. Um, I have opened and closed many stores. Uh, this is my fourth location for this first store. We also have a store in Lowry. Uh, for many years, we had a store in Highlands Ranch as well as Lakewood. Those stores, because of COVID, had to go away, but we're very, very excited to now have a new store in Aspen Grove. That is very exciting. It's exciting to have you on. Who doesn't like to talk about toys and the toy business? Now, according to the Toy Association, the toy industry is approximately a $27 billion market. That's a lot of money out there. But in 2019, they saw overall a 4% decrease from 2018. But there's reports from this year that toy sales are in fact up in some places. How's business for you? Well, of course, when we were all shut down, that just brought everything to a halt. Now things are coming back. People are very excited to be able to come in the store. Uh, everybody is masked, of course. And um, I think that people are really celebrating play. They're, they're bringing wonderful toys home. They're spending time with their families, whether it's board games or puzzles or, or art uh, toys. Everything is really being embraced I think more than it has been for many years. Now, I got to ask you because so many people are always asking about jobs. Given the holiday season, are you hiring right now? We have hired already. Um, we do try to hire um, before the, the season kicks off because we need to get everybody trained. However, this season is, um, it is building and there's always a possibility that we might need one or two more people. Great. Now I want to circle back. You started to talk about how the pandemic has impacted your business. It's been a, quite a surreal year for all of us, uh, not just in our business lives, but in personal lives as well. How are you operating differently given the pandemic? Well, we very quickly adopted curbside when we had to be closed. And for a, a many, more than a month, each one of my stores had only one person working at a time unless it happened to be a married couple, in which case they were already in their own family bubble and they would come in. And during that period of time, they were answering the phones, packing, packing up gifts and then setting them outside the door for curbside. So we did all of that. We also were super fortunate to have various organizations order toys from us. Some of our toys were delivered to um, first line responders to their children. We had a wonderful day of dropping gifts off at a couple of the hospitals. Um, we've, we've had an exciting year, um, very different, but we're still in business and I'm so grateful for every customer that comes in the door. Now, our research uh, indicates that nationally, outdoor and sports toys followed by dolls are kind of leading the sales in the US. What are you seeing? What are your best sellers this holiday season so far? Well, I'm a big proponent of supporting local. And that also has to do with the other toy people who are local in Colorado. One of my main vendors is called B4 Adventure. And they are uh, very close by. I can actually drive up to their warehouse and, and pick up all their goods. Um, we've done extremely well with them this year. Those are things like ninja lines and slack lines and all kinds of other yard toys that get kids outside and exercising. Perhaps because schools are closed and children don't have sports and um, families are turning their own backyards into the playgrounds. Getting kids outdoors. Oh, I love hearing that. That is that is what we need more of. Now, Sally, e-commerce is growing in leaps and bounds, and you have three brick and mortar stores. How are you competing in this digital economy? 
We have we have a website and um, we love our website. It is not set up for the amount of e-commerce that we are currently handling. So it is a difficult process, uh, very manual, but we have a number of people who are packing up packages every single day. My webmaster is working like crazy to make sure that every single order gets fulfilled and customers are communicated with so everybody knows exactly what we have, what we don't have. If, we don't, if we're out of something, somebody on my staff is calling and making a suggestion. So we're trying to let our e-commerce site be an extension of the customer service that we try to give in all of the stores. Gotcha. Now with Santa coming to town soon, there are a lot of families who are looking to provide a lot of smiles on the kids face this holiday season. You've been in the toy business for quite some time. Do you have any advice for consumers this holiday season looking to buy toys? The, bit, the biggest piece of advice is shop early. Um, there is no question that we are all struggling to get in the products that we want. Um, an example is Lego. I have had huge purchase orders in the system for a long, long time. And that product has not shipped. My, my Lego sections are just about empty right now. But the good news is that we have a tremendous amount of Lego coming. So mm -hmm. once it comes, I'm sure it's going to be a hot item. It's going to sell fast. And I just don't know how much we're going to have left by Christmas. I hear you. So shop early. Uh, and yeah. I would say I would say in your business also shop often. So we, we, we want we want to keep our local businesses going and especially your industry in toys, which is which is such a fun industry to be in. The U.S. Census estimates that there is 61.6 million kids in the U.S. between the ages of zero and 14 in 2020. Uh, by 2030, that number is expected to jump to 63.7 million kids uh, between the ages of zero and 14. So I, I certainly hope that bodes well for your industry and for your business here in Colorado in terms of toys and toy sales. Sally Cashua, owner of Tim Buck Toys, thank you so much for coming on the business brief. We wish you continued success and growth in the years ahead. Thank you very much. Wonderful to be here.